M0FXB got some good news here for X6100 owners. There is new firmware, it's September 2024. So let's drag this onto our SD card. We'll read the, the changes as well. We use Rufus to just burn this onto our SD card. There's Rufus there. And I've made many, many videos doing the firmware. Let's read through the changes. So number one, adjust the gain allocation in the base band section, improve the received signal to noise ratio, reduce broadcast crosstalk and minimize birdies. Something that people have been asking for for a long time. Number two, adjust the spectrum water for automatic level tracking mode. Improve the signal contrast when dealing with strong signal, easier to distinguish between signal and noise. Add audio spectrum oscilloscope switch. Finally, we can turn off. And if you look in the photograph here, look, they're showing the scope across the full width of the radio. I just think this is fantastic that they've done that because we thought we had to get the X6200, but no, they're giving us, um, they're improving the X6100. Add or uh, fix a bug where MFK tags could not be saved. Optimize the noise reduction algorithm. Adjust the following CIV data, S meter, SWR meter, volt meter. Adjust the operation logic of the WLAN settings interface, F1 config etc. I think that is needed. It's all, it's a bit confusing. It doesn't pick up everything um, that we would expect it to pick up when it's connected to Wi-Fi and the figures don't look right in the settings. So F2 connect, disconnect. Uh, the selected SSID, F3 Wi-Fi switch on off, F4 toggle keyboard is displayed when the right button switch is selected, press it to change the state of the button switch. Press while the text box is selected to turn on off the virtual keyboard, okay, yeah. MFK knob adjust the selected item in the left list, VFO knob adjust the widgets selected on the right other description so virtual keyboard a lot on the virtual keyboard there okay number and decimal points can be input quickly through the hand the handle so that's good so the fist mic's going to work better adjust the operation logic of the bluetooth so they've improved bluetooth of course we've got to test all this haven't we um f1 is scan f2 connect disconnect the bluetooth device function three turn on off bluetooth power so they've they've increased improved bluetooth they've improved wi-fi they've given us a full width you know band scope waterfall which is what we wanted and they've made the the whole device have less birdie so let's have a look at this for now this is part one catch you soon links are in the description okay let's download and install so just click here where it says x6100 in your downloads you will see this i've downloaded it three times <laughs> Click that and you'll see this window open. Double click the yellow folder and the one you want is actually the SD card image. Just see it there at the bottom. You want that, click it and drag it into a folder somewhere. That's what I do. And then I know I've got it. And if you double click that folder, you'll see it in there. There it is there, SD card. Now we want Rufus, which you can download once we stop all this advertising, but that's Rufus. We're gonna use that. So let's open it. Here it is here. Now I have put the SD card into a dongle on my PC, a USB dongle, and I've formatted it. So USB dongle just here. Put it in, and then it, your Rufus will detect it. So then you just, it's already found my SD card, look, 16 GBF. And then go select the image which was the one I just showed you. Let's just make sure we are getting the right one. We'll go to desktop and I call it X6100. And there it is there. And then just start. It's literally that simple. You get the warning and click start. And it will do all the work for you. And then you're gonna grab it when it finishes and then get your X6100. You do need to get a, you know, a power supply to it. To load it and you are just going to pop it into your s into it and turn it on uh, so let's do that now just let this complete and then we'll get ready to do that so excited about this you know i always wanted my full width screen you know waterfall that's the main reason i like this so let's go over to the radio okay this is the way around it goes 
pop it in there squeeze it in remember to take it out when you reboot it but like so it's so simple you literally just make sure your power is connected so i'm grabbing that now goes in here in the usual place and then turn it on keep your finger on it about about five seconds i reckon maybe a bit longer and then it will load it's always scary doing firmware isn't it Let's just be patient. I'll leave it live, fast forward if it's a bit boring. So I just think it's good news that they're doing firmware because the X6200 has come out. And I just always had a feeling that because when the 100 came out, it was quite special really. They're, the only thing any, anywhere near it was the 705 and that's 1300 pound at the time. These were about 550s and they had a built-in tuner. So I always thought that these were special radios. Yeah, I know a lot of people will see the birdies <clears throat> and complain about the birdies, but the birdies never ever affected how good this radio was to use. Um, so, right, well, it stopped doing anything. So let's just take it out completely and then just try and turn it on. I think it loaded, it just seemed very quick. But we can always re redo it. We've got to do the sort of second part of the firmware as well. I'm leaving it live. Ta da! Oh, look, straight away, let's get an antenna on there. I want you to see it powering on. Can you see that that display actually looks more like the XX200? Uh, let me get an antenna on that. Antenna's on, and let's do the second part. So we're going to go radio. Let's, see, let's go back. System. We need to go to firmware. Push the MFK. And then upgrade. So that it does what it's meant to do. And we know that the firmware went in because previously the X6100, you did not have the waterfall running the full span of the of the display. It does now, but there will be a, a new selection in there. So that's it, quit. Now what I'm going to do, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to reboot it one time and then we're going to have a quick look around it and then we'll end the video. So uh, let's turn it off because I do like to reboot them two times. Right, back on mode. Let's turn it up. Now, is the noise reduction on? Let it boot properly. Yeah, it's on. Let's just turn it off for a minute. Not the best speaker on these, so I'm going to plug in my speaker. A bit better. Push the FST, the button here, just to change. And just... And we'll, do, we'll just quickly run the tuner. So ATU on, hold. Yeah, it's sounding good. So let's have a quick look at the new settings to to get rid of the waterfall so we'll go general to go back and then we'll go display settings and there'll be one here I'm guessing audio scope let's push the put it there push the MFK and then turn look at that that is what we wanted we wanted that option so pleased about that and it's sounding good and looking good i think x6 100s owners are going to be very very pleased about this so let's just quickly look at the wi-fi one because that's what they talk about so we go right no actually go back system wireless lan 
See if it remembers my previous settings or if I've got to put them in again. Let's just try and connect. Oh, connected. I can see we've got these disconnect, Wi Fi switch, toggle, exit, and config. Not really seeing anything here. Um, hmm. So okay, I'll hit config to see what it does. Username, password. Yeah, it seems simpler. Auto connect, exit. Let's look at the Bluetooth. And we'll turn it on. Do the on button here. See if it picks up anything. Yeah, it's found a couple of things there. My Bluetooth is on on my computer. And then you've got scan. We'll hit that. And connect. Yeah, yeah, that's my that's that's my computer. Okay, and we can connect it, and then when we've connected to it, we can use programs like WFU etc. And my computer has just told me that I can see it on my PC there uh, that it's connected. I'll just show you. That's my Windows PC now connected. So we'll see what different things we can do with that. Okay, exit. I'll quickly look at the change log and see if there's anything obvious to work, you know, that we can check. But I'm completely happy already. It says that the gain has been improved. Squelch RF gain. I wonder if we can change colours of the waterfall. Display. We've got the we know about the audio scope. BL level, AFT reflection. Not seeing anything about colours. Radio settings 1, TX power. Remember, this one does 10 watts. <laughs> Let's do it, see if it will go to 10. It will. See, what? there you go. <laughs> Not 8. Mic select, mic gain, speaker mode. Charger on off, PTT. Uh, settings two. Okay, let's just go back to general. We need to uh, do that one, yeah. And then we'll just quickly do the app. Modem. See it here. We'll press this one. BPS KCW. No FTA. Oops. And then, so it's optimized the noise reduction. Go back to volume. And you've got more adjustments there. MFK bug, CIV data, format, audio spectrum, algorithms on the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. So I think that's enough for this video. But I'm completely happy that Zygu still are doing firmware updates for this device. I'd like to see some for the GSOC as well. I can see straight away that the waterfall looks different, similar to the XX200. I'm sure there's tweaks I can do to make all this look a lot sharper and clearer. And um, we've got the Wi-Fi showing here, WFU server, the battery emblem, the voltage, lock, ATU worked fine. Uh, so enjoy your XX100s. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now. M0FXB, guess what Zygu have done? They've upgraded the firmware in the XX100 and look what we can now do. Ta-da! We've been asking for this for about three years. Bring back the full width of the waterfall audio scope. Ta-da! Come on. Just go to display settings after you put the new 1.18 firmware. Turn until you get to audio scope. Press. 
and then we've put it here. Yeah. And it's working and sounding great. They've also optimized the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth Birdies ETC. Working great. Thank you very much, Zygu. 7-3, all best.